Suppose alpha and beta are the roots of x squared minus 15x plus 28 equals zero. Find the quantity alpha plus one times the quantity beta plus one. We will answer this question using Vieta's formula for quadratic equations, which states that if alpha and beta are the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then the sum alpha plus beta is equal to negative b divided by a, and the product of the roots alpha times beta is equal to c divided by a. And notice for our quadratic equation, a is equal to positive one, b is equal to negative 15, and c is equal to 28. And now using Vieta's formula, we know that alpha plus beta is equal to negative b divided by a, which gives us negative and then negative 15 divided by one. Notice how this simplifies to positive 15. So we know that alpha plus beta is equal to positive 15. And now for the product, we know that alpha times beta is equal to c divided by a, which is 28 divided by one. So alpha times beta is equal to 28. Now if we go back to our notes just for a moment, when we have a quadratic equation, the leading coefficient of one, we can determine the sum s by taking the opposite of the coefficient of x and the product p by using the constant term. So going back to our equation, notice how the opposite of the coefficient of x is positive 15, which gives us the sum, and the constant term is 28, which does give us the product. But this only works when the coefficient of x squared is equal to one. And now let's determine the value of the quantity alpha plus one times the quantity beta plus one. To determine this product though, we are going to have to multiply these two binomials. Remember when multiplying two binomials, we have four products, one, two, three, and four. We have alpha times beta, which notice how we know is equal to 28. And then we have alpha times one, which gives us plus alpha, and then plus one times beta, which gives us plus beta we know that alpha plus beta is equal to 15, and then we still have plus one times one, which gives us plus one. So again, now we can perform a substitution for alpha times beta, which is 28, and alpha plus beta, which is 15. So we have alpha times beta, which is 28, plus alpha plus beta, which is 15, plus one. 28 plus 15 plus one is equal to 44. I hope you found this helpful.